My name is Yao Abdijenfi. My, my study for open air will be at Swami Magazine, and Swami Magazine is an industrial cluster of artisans, uh, mainly mechanics, uh, fabricators, metal fabricators, and small scale manufacturers. It's looking at how collaborations spur innovation. So I'm looking at what type of collaborations are there, the scale level that um, enhances the collaboration, and also what governance systems are there to be able to enhance uh, the sort of innovation that is going on there. In the colonial times, the British kept their armor in the Swam magazine, but then um, when the congestion in the 50s and 60s happened in Kumasi, a lot of vehicle dealers and spare parts dealers were relocated to the present day Swam magazine and it sparked off innovation that has now organically uh, evolved until now. So uh, Swam magazine has um, about 12,000 small-scale businesses and 200,000 artisans. And on the revenue side, if everyone is making $5 a day, you have a million dollars of transaction going on within the cluster. And for us, the informal sector, we describe it as, uh, for some magazine, as a place where you have a lot, a lot of people who are semi-literate or illiterate and are engaged in activities that are uh, mainly manual and their businesses are mainly unregulated and unregistered and characterized by manual work. It is important to look at how knowledge is being appropriated there because um, you find out that there's a lot of, even though their level of education is low and the fact that they are not using uh, high-tech technologies, you find out that they're able to also come up with a lot of products and services uh, that meet the demands of the Ghanaian economy.